Hello students. In this video, I'll be discussing about the quadratic forms. Let A be a real symmetric matrix. G from Rn to R defined by G of X equal to X transpose AX is called a real quadratic form. For example, if I consider A to be 3, minus 5, minus 5, 2, x equal to x, y, x transpose A, x will be x, y, 3, minus 5 minus 5 2 into x y this will be 3x minus 5 y minus 5x plus 2 y into x y this will be equal to 3x squared minus 5xy minus 5xy plus 2y squared which is 3x squared minus 10xy plus 2y squared so g of x equal to x transpose ax which is 3x squared minus 10xy plus 2y squared is a real quadratic form. So if we consider g of x g of x equal to 3x squared plus 4y squared minus 3z squared minus 7xy plus 5xz minus 4 y z then we can write this as g of x equal to x transpose a x where a equal to now x squared y squared if I write x y z x y z so x squared y squared and z squared the coefficients come along the principal diagonal so 3 4 3 4 minus 3 come along the principal diagonal now this position corresponds to x y so we split and this also this this position corresponds to y z by x so we split minus 7 as minus 7 by 2 and minus 7 by 2 similarly this position corresponds to x z and this position corresponds to z x 
so this will be 5 by 2 and 5 by 2 and this is the position corresponding to yz so we have minus 2 and minus 2 and x is x y and z Now if P is a modal matrix is an orthogonal modal matrix to diagonalize A then P transpose A P equal to D. if x equal to p i where y is x1 y1 z1 then g of x is x transpose a x which is p y transpose a p y which is y transpose p transpose a p y which is equal to y transpose d y So this is G star of Y G star of Y is called the canonical form of the real quadratic form g of x equal to x transpose a x then we can classify the quadratic forms classification or we can call them nature of the quadratic forms positive definite if eigenvalues of A are greater than 0 then we call the quadratic form to be a positive definite quadratic form we call the quadratic form to be negative definite if eigenvalues of A are less than 0 the quadratic form is said to be positive C 
semi definite if eigenvalues of a are greater than or equal to 0 and at least one eigenvalue is 0. Quadratic form is said to be negative semi-definite if eigenvalues are are less than or equal to 0 and at least one eigenvalue is 0. And we call the quadratic form to be indefinite if some eigenvalues are positive and some are negative. If we consider the quadratic form, reduce the quadratic form 3x squared plus 5y squared plus 3z squared minus 2yz plus 2zx minus 2xy to canonical form also specify the matrix of the transformation Hence, discuss the nature of the quadratic form. So to begin with, we construct the matrix of the quadratic form. g of x equal to x transpose a x here a is given by now the first position corresponds to x second row corresponds to y third row corresponds to z, first column corresponds to x, second column corresponds to y, and the third column corresponds to z. So, the coefficients of x squared, y squared and z squared come along the principal diagonal. So, we have 3, 3, 5, 3 along principal diagonal.
Now this position corresponds to x y. This is x z y x. This position corresponds to y z z y z x. So we split the coefficients equally among the corresponding positions. So this will be minus 1 this will be minus 1 then correspond to, to xz we have plus 2 so this will be plus 1 and corresponding to yz we have minus 2 so we split that equally in positions 2 3 and 3 2 so we have the matrix A so A equal to Three, five, three, minus one, one, minus one, minus one, one, and minus one. The first step is to find the eigenvalues and the corresponding eigenvectors. So a equal to a minus lambda i equal to 0. This implies minus lambda cube plus 11 lambda squared minus 36 lambda plus 36 equal to 0. So we have lambda equal to two, three, and six. To find the eigenvectors, we require solutions of a minus lambda i a minus lambda i into x equal to 0 so lambda equal to 2 this implies a minus 2 i equal to 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 3 minus 1 1 minus 1 1 this on reducing Declan form we get 0 2 0 0 0 0 a minus 2i into x equal to 0 implies x minus y plus z is 0 2y equal to 0 so y is 0 z equal to k implies x equal to minus k so x equal to minus k 0 so we have x1 equal to minus 1 0 1 
lambda equal to 3 this implies a minus 3 i equal to 0 minus 1 1 minus 1 2 minus 1 1 minus 1 0 So a minus 3i on reducing to echelon form will result in 1 minus 1 0 0 minus 1 1 0 0 0 a minus 3i into x equal to 0 implies x minus y equal to 0 minus y plus z equal to 0 z equal to k implies y equal to k which implies x equal to k so we have x equal to k k k that is 1 1 and 1 therefore x2 equal to 1 1 and 1 now lambda equal to 6 implies a minus 6 i will be minus 3 minus 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 minus 3 a minus 6 i will be similar to 1 minus 1 minus 3 0 minus 2 minus 4 0 0 0 a minus 6 i into x equal to 0 implies x minus y minus 3 z minus 2 y minus 4 z will be equal to 0 so z equal to k implies y equal to minus 2 k so x equal to k x equal to k minus 2k k therefore x3 will be 1 minus 2 1 so now we have x1 equal to minus 1 0 1 x2 equal to one 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 x3 equal to one minus two one now here x inner product of x1 x2 is zero inner product of x1 x3 is 0 inner product of x2 x3 is also 0 therefore x1 x2 
x3 are orthogonal now we require that the vectors are orthonormal so that we can construct an orthogonal modal matrix so inner product of x1 with x1 is 1 plus 0 plus 1 that is 2 so norm of x1 is root 2 inner product of x2 with x2 is 3 so in norm of x2 will be root 3 inner product of x3 with x3 will be 6 so norm of x3 is root 6 so x1 by norm x1 will be minus 1 by root 2 0 1 by root 2 x2 by norm of x2 will be 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 x3 by norm of x3 will be one by root root six minus two by root six one by root six so p will be minus 1 by root 2 0 1 by root 2 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 1 by root 6 minus 2 by root 6 1 by root 6 this implies P transpose A P equal to D. Now, if X equal to P Y, then X transpose is Y transpose P transpose. Therefore, X transpose A X will be Y transpose P transpose A P y which will be y transpose dy where y is x1 y1 z1 so x transpose ax which is g of x equal to 2x1 squared plus 3y1 squared plus 6z1 squared so equation 1 is the canonical form of the quadratic form g of x since all eigenvalues are positive g of x is 
a positive definite quadratic form.